With us is Andre Rozier, the trainer of Duke Mackay. Uh, tell our audience exactly uh, how the story ended. Well, we were doing a really good job. Uh, Duke hasn't fought since the last fight, which was two rounds. It's been a long period of inactivity. And um, he boxed very well, but he hurt his hand in the sixth round. And uh, it kept him from uh, actually completing the mission. And also, uh, Janiel used to be one of my students. So there was some uh, common lines of, of capability, and, and it definitely showed. And he was a very game opponent, a very nice young man. And uh, they put on a good show. Uh, Duke definitely won uh, almost every round, in my opinion. And uh, um, I think that we just need to keep honing the skill. And uh, two or three fights from now, he'll be uh, world champion. What, did, what was the final result of the uh, Unanimous decision. In his favor? In his favor. And, and the hand, how hurt is the hand? Is it broken? Or? No, I don't think it's broken, but it was um, very um, inflamed, and uh, there was a, a, a lot of, of, um, a lot of uh, inner swelling around the knuckles. So... The precaution was to take him to the hospital just to make sure. But I know if it was broken, he couldn't at least close it. So he could close it, but there might be just some um, inflammation going on from him uh, doing an overhand right so many times and hitting Janelle on the tip of the forehead, which is what I call the soccer area when they bounce balls off their heads. That's a tough place to hit, and he kept targeting that. So he had um, some bruising going on, but I think he'll be okay. And then what do you expect next for him? Um, I'm expecting a title eliminator next, and um, he'll be more than ready. And uh, then we'll, we're going to fight for a world title. All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from the Barclays Center. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the fights.